the rallying cry mm -hmm. in your campaign. It was always about working class Americans. You talk about the top versus the bottom, not the left versus the right. Right. Now, the economy is going pretty strong, right? There's roughly 4% unemployment, 3.9% unemployment. Um, do you think that capitalism has failed to deliver for working class Americans or is no longer the best vehicle for working class Americans? Well, I, th I think the numbers that you just talked about is part of the problem, right? Because we look at these figures and we say, oh, unemployment is low, everything is fine, right? Well, unemployment is low because everyone has two jobs. Oh my God. You know I should just start every video with a face palm. How are you folks? It's the Robozoid. Well dressed, well presented. The reason why is because, hey, some of you like it when I dress up. So I might as well do this as a normal thing. Anyway, the reason we're here today is to talk about this little trollop from New York, the Bronx, you know, little, a kind of little Alexandria a crazy -o cortex I call her a crazy -o cortex because, let's face it, she is not right in the head. Anyway, <clears throat> a lot of other YouTubers have been talking about her silliness, her dumb statements, her inaccurate reporting, and also, of course, well, her lack of any basic economic understanding of, well, anything. <clears throat> because, well, let's face it, she's a dope. And I thought I'd play some of the highlights of her laziness, sloppiness, stupidity, idiocy, and downright what the hellery. So, <laughs> here we are, the absolute funniest and worst of Alexandria Acrazio Cortex. Roll it. And now it's time for the wit and wisdom <laughs> of Alexandra Crazio Cortex. Oh my god. You know I should just start every video with a face palm. How are you folks? It's the Robozoid. Well dressed, well presented. The reason why is because, hey, some of you like it when I dress up. So I might as well do this as a normal thing. Anyway. The reason we're here today is to talk about this little trollop from New York, the Bronx, you know, little, a kind of little Alexandria, a crazy -o cortex. I call her a crazy -o cortex because, let's face it, she is not right in the head. Anyway, <clears throat> a lot of other YouTubers have been talking about her silliness, her dumb statements, her inaccurate reporting, and also, of course, well, her lack of any basic economic understanding of, well, anything. <clears throat> because, well, let's face it, she's a dope. And I thought I'd play some of the highlights of her laziness, sloppiness, stupidity, idiocy, and downright what the hellery. So, <laughs> here we are, the absolute funniest and worst of Alexandria Acrazio Cortex. Roll it. We wanted to start with Alexandria. Um, if you could talk about how you think you achieved this victory, what exactly you did. Yeah, um, and I think that it, I do think that the way that we won in New York 14 is a model for how we can win almost anywhere. Uh, I knew from the outset that, you know, I had no misconceptions of the fact that the New York political machine was not going to be doing me any favors. And so I didn't, I tried to kind of come in as clear eyed as possible. And I knew that if we were going to win, the way that progressives win on an unapologetic message is by expanding the electorate implement a carbon tax on top of that so that we can transition and, and financially incentivize people away from fossil fuels. If we talk about a, a pipe tax, dream, that's an additional amount of, um, of, of a large amount of revenue that we can have. So the president should not be asking for more money to an agency that has systematically violated human rights. The president should be really defending why we are funding such an agency at all. The argument that these things don't work, that housing as a right doesn't work, that That's because it doesn't work, that 
you know, if you expand it to states, that uh, universal college and trade school education doesn't work because we can prove that they do on municipal and statewide levels. Really? Uh, if, we, if we reverse the, the tax bill... You the really have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Which is not even as high as it was before. Dramatic, it is wrong, and it is anti-American. Those women and children trying to come here with nothing but the shirts on their back to create an opportunity... Yeah, to cause trouble. Nation, you don't know jack and shit, lady. Than this rallying cry in your campaign. It was always about working class Americans. You talk about the top versus the bottom, not the left versus the right. Right. Now, the economy is going pretty strong, right? There's roughly 4% unemployment, 3.9% unemployment. Um, do you think that capitalism has failed to deliver for working class Americans or is no longer the best vehicle for working class Americans? Well, I, th I think the numbers that you just talked about is part of the problem, right? Because we look at these figures and we say, oh, unemployment is low, everything is fine, right? Well, unemployment is low because everyone has two jobs. Wow. Unemployment is low because people are working two jobs. Uh, I will not deny that there are some people who do work two jobs, but I wouldn't say that everybody has two jobs. I wouldn't say that everybody is working 80 or 90 hours a week. Wait, are there 90 hours in the week? Yeah, I guess there are. Uh, but, but anyway, seriously. <laughs> How can you be this stupid, Acrasio Cortex? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! These, of course, are the typical do-nothing, learn-nothing, know-nothing, ne'er-do-wells of the left who basically cause trouble on college campuses. <clears throat> you know, I really wonder, has anyone actually done a brain scan on a crazy o cortex? I mean, I've got to ask the question, when's the last time she had a CAT scan? Uh, when's the last time she had a memory test? Any of that. Because she seems to either be remembering things wrong, or she's so poorly educated she just doesn't really understand how anything works. I mean, I had already mentioned that she was a minor in economics. Yes, she has a bachelor's degree in economics, which means nothing. Oh, well, here's more of her, of her economic stupidity. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate. And also close some of those loopholes. That's two trillion dollars right there. That's two trillion dollars in ten years. Two trillion dollars. Uh, if we, if we reverse the the tax bill, you the really have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Which is not even as high as it was before. I mean, she ought to win the Nobel Prize herself. Doesn't she just look like Nobel Prize material? Hey, check in for part two of more of the wit and wisdom <laughs> of a crazy o cortex.